Thank you for calling Nestle. Please note your call may be monitored or recorded for quality or coaching purposes. Please press 1 if you would like to hear more about privacy. Press 2 if you are calling about Maggie or Uncle Toby's cereals and snacks. Press 3 if you are calling about infant or health science products. Or press 4 for all other inquiries. Nestle Consumer Services, Aquilina speaking. Hello, Aquilina. My name is James. Can I just check up the top that yep. this is being recorded for quality and training purposes? Yes, it is. Ah, fantastic. Um, I've just yep. had one of your – it's actually brought into my house um, by the Decaf Instant Coffee. The Decaf Instant Coffee? Yeah, this okay, is Nescafe good. Blend 43 Decaf. Yeah, okay, yep. I just had what um, happened? Oh, it was fine. I think someone just bought it by mistake when they were trying to buy regular instant coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I just just out of interest, not to not to complain or, yeah. or change anything, but I was just wondering who yeah. is that product for? Uh generally people who are trying to avoid caffeine in their but, coffee. Yeah, that was my thinking that cuz normal decaf you'd go I I love the taste of coffee but I don't want to be yeah. caffeinated. And then normal instant yeah. coffee, you just go, well, I don't really care how this coffee tastes. I just need some caffeine yeah. this morning. But who is yeah. the instant, not very nice tasting, and also no caffeine, who who's, who buys that? Who's that marketed to? Okay. So, is, uh, so basically your question, you're, 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 you're saying it doesn't taste nice, and well, I mean, I just no, not not as a value judgment, but that it's an it's an instant coffee, yeah. which serves its right. purpose of immediacy, uh, of serving. Like I think if instant coffee tasted the same as all the other coffees, the other co I mean, you wouldn't wait around for a French press like a dunce, would you? You just you'd bloody get that instant yeah. coffee ready to go. It's the speed of the instant coffee that that adds that um, kick. You know, yeah. yeah. I, there might be yeah. instant coffee aficionados and. And people who prefer it out there, I'm not sure, but I I think um, they don't do it at like cafes and things where people would get a bit fancy about it, you know. So I was just wondering if yeah, if this isn't for people who want the taste of coffee, and it's not for people who want caffeine, what is the um, what's that? What's the intersecting part of that Venn diagram? Oh, because it, it's well, I guess it's a bit subjective in terms of the taste. Because it's meant to taste as close to the normal caffeinated instant coffee as possible. Yeah. Just without the caffeine. No, I'm with you. I'm so, with you. That's what I know. That's what I mean, yeah. though, right? Because yeah. it tastes similar to the instant coffee. Yeah. But the only reason but you have the have instant coffee. coffee is to get the a quick dose of the caffeine without, you know, because you're hungover and you're afraid you might burn your hand on an espresso machine or something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But it actually doesn't have as much caffeine. I think it's got like 0 0.1 gram per 100 gram of caffeine. In the decaf one? In the decaf one. Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. So like what is the – what's the teleological end of an instant decaf? That you want the taste of the coffee, not necessarily the kick, yep. but just the taste of the coffee. So instant, it's, the, uh, it's for people who want the, the taste of instant coffee. Yeah. All right. But not necessarily the kick. Well, that's good to – and they're out there. I mean, obviously, that's, that's, a, that's a product at the supermarket. So that is being yeah. – Can I? do you know how, what percentage of people are buying that version compared to the, the regular um, version? I'm not sure, to be honest, in terms of the specific percentage, but it's quite a significant one. To be really? Honest. We actually um, – we, we, I think the past two weeks we, had un, we were un, out of stock of the product and we had so many people calling. Golly. So in terms of um, – yeah, in terms of statistics, I'm not really sure to be honest. No, but you're saying but know anecdotally there is, a, there is a demand that if people don't get yeah. their instant coffee, yeah. they get shirty yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah, we actually had a, a, an, an influx of calls from people who actually um, wanted the product uh, when it was out of stock the past two weeks. Wow. Yeah. 
Well, I'm sorry to have contributed to that by accidentally having it at my house for a while. But, um, and I'm sorry that you've had to endure those calls. But thank you so much for talking me through that. I don't feel – can I – what sort of person? I mean, were these like – did they sound insane, these people who were calling? Who? Do you know what I mean? Because why would you – here's – I'm just trying to get at the nub. Why would anyone ever – Want you know if you if there's only instant coffee to place you go well bloody hell I may I've got to I've got to have some instant coffee because if I don't have any coffee I yeah. am a mess you know yeah that yeah. really is the only situation where one is driven in the contemporary society to it no no negativity no negativity about it you know we all have to you know and that's an important role to have in society we all have an important right the emergency tire in the back of the car yeah. it doesn't go the same speed as the yeah. other tire but it's it's got to be there but so you're saying people yeah, were furious <laughs> They were actually serious, to be honest. Um, especially people with heart palpitations, people who are, um, who've got medical conditions where they've been told not to or to avoid some caffeine in their product. Yeah. Um, but then I guess it's the people who have been used to having um, the normal instant coffee and then they've just been given that sad news by the doctor that, oh, you need to avoid, um, you need to avoid um, coffees or anything that's got caffeine in them. And then so this is the next best alternative. They still want the taste of the coffee. Maybe not necessarily the coffee hit, just the taste of the coffee. Yeah, I'm with you. And then they've just been told they have to. They have to avoid caffeine. So the next best option would be the decaf. Especially, so most of the people who are calling us about it are the people who are like having issues with heart palpitations and they're like, oh, I really need to have the coffee, but I can't have the normal coffee because I've just been told to get off it. So, yeah, from what I remember in terms of the people who are calling, it was basically those people who've got medical conditions and who've been told not to have caffeine in the product. Do you think there's been an uptick in recent years of people with those heart palpitations? Oh, because sure. I reckon that's the vaccine. Oh, oh, I reckon oh, that's myocarditis. And, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not sure about the... No, no, absolutely. You shouldn't take an editorial line yeah. on it. But that's my suspicion. Yeah. But I'll let you go. Thank you so much for helping to answer that for me. That's okay. That's all right. And the fact is that you bought this product by mistake. No, it was my dad, actually, who, who brought it in. And then we were standing around the kitchen going, who's that for? But, I mean, it, you know, I mean, it exists as a product yeah. in mainstream supermarkets, yeah. so someone's buying it. Maybe I'll have to lurk out there and ask people. But, um, yeah, I really yeah. appreciate that. Thank you so much. It's okay. That's all right. Thank you for calling. No worries. You have a good one. You too. Bye.